What's up guys, I have a cool new product here. This is the D-Link AC 1900 Ultra Wi-Fi USB adapter. Um, for desktops or laptops, Mac or PC, so it'll work for all of them. Um, my old uh, desktop that I built just didn't have Wi-Fi built in, so I bought a, like a $5 wireless and adapter, and this is AC, so it should make it a lot faster. And then we have some product specifications. If you can check them out here, you can pause it. Um, then here on the side, like I said, it'll plug into your desktop or your PC. Uh, I'm going to be using this for my desktop once I upgraded it. And here's a little more product information on the back if you want to check it out. But I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the packaging, show you guys what it looks like, what it does, etc. And then we'll take it from there. So I'll show you some speed test without my uh, wireless card in it. Or, I mean, my just wireless N, 2.4 gigahertz, and this will be 5 gigahertz and AC. Uh, my router is the Asus router, which has wireless AC. So, I should see a fairly good speed increase overall just from the old wireless N and the upgrade on the 2.4 to the 5 gigahertz. So, let's go ahead and break this open and let's get in here. Got this. Very minimal packaging, the box is really small. So let's go ahead and here's the, the little box. And it just has the little thing in here. Just slides out like a so. That's pretty cool. Just a little orb sideways. And then we look at the packaging inside. And it says, please do not put the software CD-ROM to install. So I might have to install some drivers on it, but that's not a problem. I can get that all set up. Just wanted to show you guys what was inside the packaging and how it was set up, etc. Little foam core inside here. Bring it out. So it's this little ball. That's pretty small, pretty cool. Adds a little futuristic. Minimal branding there. Then on the bottom, just that little orb. And then inside, you're going to get just the USB 3.0 cable with the adapter and the little software suite to install it. So let's go ahead and get this up and running. And we'll show you guys what it looks like. It looks like it doesn't even require um, any additional power. It just runs off the power off the USB 3.0. So there's no external adapter or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. Um, I'll have a screen capture of my device showing my old setup and then with this setup and then I'll show you guys what the speed differences are from that. So uh, I'm going to get it on my old computer here. So let's get this, just my old computer, get it installed and then I'll be back and show you guys. Once the computer is connected and the uh, this thing is on you can see the little blue light on there cool thing about it is if you don't like the blue light you can disable it and then they'll be connected so that's something to consider you can enable and disable that light if you don't like it so um i actually think it's pretty cool so you just push the button and it'll turn on and it's connected to usb 3.0 so let's run some speed tests on this um running the usb 3.0 connection uh, as you can see up here i have disabled the other connection um, I'll disable it. This is the original wireless. So we can go here. Disable that. Yes. And then this is the, uh, you can see it there, the D Link WA 1900 USB adapter. And we'll run some speed tests with this. Um, like before we had, you saw how slow they were. So let's run a couple speed tests with this. Get this set up. And you'll see the big difference in the speed test. The other ones I was getting four or five megabytes. Uh, but now with this adapter, I'm getting up to 110, 115. Um, I'm paying for 100, so that's not bad. 110, 112. Let's see what it tops that out. 111. So I'll go ahead and run another speed test. Um, I did, I've lived at three last time for the other one, so... I'll, Put this up, set it up. Um, my upload speed max, I believe, is 12. So it's getting the max before I was getting 5, 6. So it wasn't all that much different. But as you can see, it's already making a huge improvement over the last one. So I really like that this will make me 
could get full of, that the little guy, this little guy will give me full advantage of my internet connection. So let's go ahead and do another one here really quick. And um, as you can see from the previous speed test, I wasn't getting nowhere near the speed connection. So I'll run this one and then I'll disable it and then try one more with the other connection. But as you can see, I'm getting close to 100 or more um, where my other connection wasn't as fast. So I'm already satisfied with the difference here in the speeds. So kudos to D-Link, thumbs up. Um, good, really good product. And this will work on Mac PC, laptop, desktop, whatever the case may be, and it'll get your speed up and running up a par. So I really like that. So uh, let's go ahead and disable this once this is done. Let's go up here and disable this one. We've disabled that. Enable it. Yes, that's fine. And let's connect to it up here. I just unplugged the other one. I'm back to the original, just Intel Centrino. As you can see, the, the connection that was over here on the left is gone. So we're going to go up and go back to speed test. Once we're back at speed test, we'll go ahead and log in and hopefully we're going to see somewhat same results as before. But as you can see, it should be a little bit better because that gave me with the D-Link, it gave me the full hundred that I was paying for. Let's see what it gives me. Even if it gives me 50 or 60, even 70, it's still very good improvement over what I had previously. So let's see what this does here. And my ping wasn't very big. See? So the connection, it improved over the 5 to 8 that I had earlier. But it's nowhere near with the AC connection that I had with the D-Link. So easy upgrade. I think so. Is it worth it? Definitely. You're getting four times the speed as a regular one. My uploads, I'm getting the uploads are staying kind of the same. The full 12 that I pay for. But download definitely a big difference. I'll run another speed test just in case. But as you can see already, the D Link adapter is night and day. Let's try one more test. And let's see it go. So it's got better. A few. It's still the deep link adapter. Is going to get me night and day speeds. Compared to this. So D-Link. Thumbs up. Really like it. If you think this is a good product. Check it down in the link down below. And buy it it's a good investment especially if you want faster internet and you have an old computer desktop that doesn't have fast wi-fi and you have an ac router this is the way to go highly recommended and again thanks dealing for sending this out really appreciate it this is gonna be really great for me thank you thank you thank you and one last thank you um until my next video you guys as usual peace out